Hi, today I want to share with you how I made these beautiful small flowers and let me share this process by showing you the first step how I attached uh, my cardstock to the Cricut mat. Now I will show you this very important step uh, how to attach uh, your cardstock uh, to your Cricut mat. This is very important. This is a sticky mat from Cricut. You can, uh, you can it, it has sticky surface and the surroundings are not sticky. So I have cut this cardstock about uh, 10 and a half inches and 10 and a half. So I am also as I'm uh, making this video, I'm also learning. So I, I'm going to put this material um, a little bit outside the margin which is given. So I, so all my cuts will be inside this area. And with the help of a brayer, now I'm going to, you can see this is a roller, and now I'm going to uh, attach this uh, material to the surface of the mat. They show this step and then to everyone that how important it is because if your machine is it is if the material is not attached to the mat properly it can lift and it will destroy the cut. I will show my machine side by side of the of the on-screen uh, grab so you can see how long it takes to make a project. So I will start by going to the Cricut Design Space and clicking New Project. And I click Upload. And now I will upload image which I have put on my desktop. So it is here, Flower 2. And I will upload. Now this will show in uh, Upload, uh, Recent Uploads area. And if you click this, this little circle will show which file is selected and these are my previous designs which I have made. So I will click add to canvas and now this is a very small flower. Now what I will do, I will uh, enlarge it, uh, magnify it so I can see the details and now I will hit ungroup. Now I want these centers to cut in one on one mat and in one color. So I will leave them as they are and for these layers petals I want them to cut on one layer and one color so I will just uh, and on and on one mat so now I will change the color now you, they will be on one mat and this will be on the other mat so I will show you my intended colors um, here you can see uh, I want these petals to cut in this purple color and the centers in red color so now what i will do i will hit make i don't want to save the project so i will just uh, leave it and how and it, now it is asking me how will you load all of your material for this project so you can see here it's a 12 into 12 inch mat and now i will hit confirm now I want multiple copies of this project so at least three copies so I will uh, choose number three and apply and now it is showing me that my centers are uh, right here and on I want to cut them in red but I want to put them inside the material a little bit so I will just bring them here uh, inside one inch one inch margin so when I'm cutting the material won't lift it it will be inside this material and for my other petals uh, here is the uh, material I have cut something in it so it is around two inches and then after two inches I have till 10 inch I have some space and then this is I'm going to reuse this and therefore I wanted to uh, to in order to reuse this area and my material I will first on the computer I know that I have I have to put them under two inches here and between and uh, I might not have that much material so I'll bring these two down here so now they are good now they will be cut easily and maybe bring them a little bit lower 
so now they will cut for sure they will cut inside the material now we'll hit continue and let's see which uh, now it is finding my machine machine is on and uh, so my I, I have maker 3 a machine now so now it is showing me that which I think it is cutting the center first so I want centers to cut in red so I will choose medium cardstock and then now you can see here it is uh, the load button is blinking I will put this material here and hit load and also you can also hear what noises this machine makes so you have some idea about what what is going on so you can see simultaneously now it is measuring mat length and estimating where the cut will be now it is asking me to press go so this is the go button i'm going to press that and now you will see the procedure side by side it is detecting and now cutting now it has to cut at least uh, six files so let one two three four five six yes yeah, six small parts so let's see how long it takes so this is how it looks like your computer what your computer what you see on your computer on your iPad or on your screen and what you see in real now it is asking me unload mat now I will just unload the mat by clicking this button and all my centers are cut okay and I will repeat this process with the petals All my material is cut you can see here and this one this is also cut so I will take them out so to taking them I'm going to bend the mat not my uh, flower petals or cardstock so bend like this and take all of them out Now we will start shaping our petals. So uh, I, I, this is my design that th it should have three petals and two centers. So for that I'm going to use this a new instrument which I have uh, discovered. It is called uh, ball and stylus, and this is a metal ball on a. I think it's a, a clay sculpting tool. So now it it really helped me to sculpt so now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to take this uh, petal put it in palm of my hand and just uh, try to make it a little bit rounder a little bit organic looking so you can see that now it is beautifully uh, sculpted and you can also use a what I used is if you don't want to put it on, a, on the palm of your hand you can use a tissue paper and like this will this is now soft and now I put this file on it uh, my paper uh, cuts and I will be sculpting them and making them look more organic like this so and a third one I will sculpt this so this is just these videos are also for me to understand how uh, files will be used by people who are going to finally use them and uh, this is the center now I will just also like to sculpt it a little by using this uh, ball and stylus so it looks uh, or maybe it's very small I'll just use palm of my hand now it is ready and I will use this last center as well i'm using i just like to use it like this and i find it easy it is giving me the results which i want so 
now it is ready now I will glue my flowers I will use a simple uh, school glue or UHU glue to make the final flower so here it is and I would like to alternate the petals so it has more natural look and I will do it very slowly and then put some glue behind the last layer of petal and then again put it together like this and press it a little so they stays in place and for these tiny little parts I'm going to use a tweezer because I want to make it easier for everyone and for me so this tweezer from Cricut this is this has a lock you can see now you can put the glue easily behind it like a little how much you want and then just put it inside your flower like this and let it go and even you can position it as you like with the help of this tweezer so people who are tired whose hands are shaky please use all these tools available to you to make your life easier make your crafting easier because not everybody can craft perfectly every time so here you go I will alternate this petal to like this and my flower is ready 